I built a full-fledged website with the JavaScript surface API and it handles everything. Login, attendance, logout, you name it. On the back end, it is powered by a robust PHP and a database combo, which is actually easy to integrate and perfect for web apps. Whether you are diving into a world of AI or just looking for a cool project, this code is your blueprint. Download it, see how it works and use it as springboard for your own creations. Plus, I will be diving deeper into the concepts used throughout the video. This project simplifies attendance with admin and lecture roles. Admin set up everything while lectures take attendance and export data. Now, allow me to log in using the administrator's email and uh, password. I will provide a text file containing the passwords to facilitate your login if you decide to download the project. As an admin, you will love this clean and efficient dashboard. It gives you a clear picture of everything happening in the system with all the information pulled directly from the database. And because the website is responsive, you can manage it from any device anytime. Now, manage course. Here you will find the option to add a new course, add a unit, and also include a faculty information. Just click add faculty and enter faculty details. We will use uh, engineering as an example here. See how easy it is to manage faculty list. If we scroll down, we will notice a newly added faculty with no course. Let's add a specific course for that faculty. Course name, let it be mathematic for science with course code as SME2103. When we check the faculty of engineering, we find that there is one course offered in that faculty. The system lets you not only add the units but also assign them to lectures within a specific course you select. Lecture management is also supported. You can add a new lecture to the system. This section allows an administrator to enroll new users. The enrollment process involves adding student information and capturing two facial recognition photographs. Let's add a student, first name student1, last name testing, email student1 at gmail.com registration number let it be 005 2020 faculty let us select computing and I select course as a, a computer technology let's take a picture when i hover over the image please hold up and i click the icon it triggers the camera to capture a photo the captured photo the captured image should now be displayed within the chosen image uh, please hold up Review the image to ensure it is clear and properly captured. Let's do the same for image 2. That's all. Now I can save the student. We have a success message that the student was added successfully. We will log out and log back in as a lecture user. This way I can show you what instructors can do within the system. Let's switch to lecture role. Email address mark at gmail.com. Then our password. Sign in. There are four primary functions that a lecture panel can perform. Recording attendance, assessing attendance records, observing students studying a specific unit, and also downloading attendance data as an Excel sheet. Now let's see how lectures take attendance. We select the computer technology course. Remember, this is the course our new student student just registered. For once you choose a course, the system uses Ajax to automatically display a list of all students enrolled in that course. You might have multiple units depending on how the course is structured. Don't worry, we can pick any unit for this demonstration. Finally, we will choose uh, the venue where this particular lecture will take place. With the unit and venue selected, we are all set. Now let's click this button that says launch facial recognition. Look at this, the webcam just opened and it shows a square highlighting my registration number right on my face. Even better, the system instantly recognized me based on the number we added earlier. And check this out, the attendance table is already updated with a CIT005 marked present while everyone else shows absent. That is some serious facial recognition accuracy. After marking all the attendance present, click the end attendance button. This will trigger the system to record the attendance data in the database. Now that attendance is recorded, lectures can easily review it. You can see all the students registration numbers, the attendance status either present or absent for a specific date and easily track the attendance history. Well, uh, if you need the attendance data in Excel, click export attendance and download a spreadsheet with um, the unit code and download date 
in the file name what let's open uh, the excel sheet you will see individual student data with their status here for instance 005 is marked present that covers the user interface for attendance management now let's take a quick dive into how the code behind the scenes make it all work i have shared all the code link in the video description below stick around to learn how you can download it set it up yourself and maybe even explore ways to make it even better I have organized code into few folders. I have index.php which is our login and also logout file. And then our admin and lecture folder. Also I have includes where I have a database connection file. Let's take a closer look at the code behind a creating student. Create student.php file within the admin section. When a new student is added, the code automatically creates a folder named after the registration number. This folder is placed within the dedicated label subfolder inside the lecture folder. This structure makes it easy to find and manage student specific information later on. Now let's switch gears and look at JavaScript file called script.js located in the lecture folder. This file acts as the brain of the attendance taking functionality. It has special function called update table. Here's the cool part. When a, a lecture selects a course, you need and a venue. A separate PHP script called manageFolder.php sends the registration number students enrolled in that specific unit. This data is then used by update table to identify the relevant student folder within the label subfolder. This way, the JavaScript can pinpoint which student folder to include when taking attendance for that particular unit. That covers the code aspect for now. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how the system works behind the scenes. In the description, I have provided a GitHub link to access the source code. To get started, you will need to install a software program called ZAMP. If you already have WAMP installed, that works too. They both create a similar environment for running the code. Upon clicking the link I provided, you will be directed to this page. I click uh, on code. On this pop-up, you will see option to download this code as a zip file. It is a fairly lightweight download, clocking in at uh, around 11 megabytes at the time of recording. Once the download is complete, head over to your downloads folder and find the zipped file. Now let's unzip it. Most computers have a built-in tools for this. Once it is unzipped, we'll give the folder a shorter catcher name. How about uh, we name it face recognition. Now get ahead and copy that entire face recognition folder. We'll need it in the next step. Now let's find your ZAMP program. It is usually installed in the main directory of your computer. Once you have opened a ZAMP folder, locate subfolder called htdocs. This is where the websites and web applications are typically stored. Go ahead and paste the copied face recognition folder we have just created right inside the htdocs folder. Open up the face recognition folder we just copied. Inside you will find a subfolder called lecture. This folder contains a special folder called models. Now here is a head up. I had some issues when keeping these models within the project folder. So let's copy them to a more reliable location. Go ahead and copy the entire models folder. We'll paste it somewhere outside the face recognition folder itself. Now let's open a, a file called attendance management system. SQL within the face recognition folder. This file contains the code that creates the database where the system will store all the attendance data. But before we import the code, there's a quick check to make sure everything goes smoothly. Inside the attendance m system.sql, you should see some text mentioning the database name. We will need this name in a moment, so keep it handy. Now that we have everything in place, it is time to launch the system. First, let's find the ZAMP control panel. You can search for it using the Windows search bar. Once you open it, there will be a list of services. We need to start two of them, Apache and MySQL. Once those are started, head over to your web browser and type in localhost forward slash dashboard. This will bring PHP dashboard. Look for a section called PHP 
pay my admin this is a tool for managing database click on it we will create a brand new database to store all the attendance information for our system remember the database name you found earlier in the attendance m system.sql we will need to enter that exact name here to make sure everything works perfectly click on the import tab this will allow us to import the database code stored in the attendance m system.sql file go ahead and find that file on your computer and select it now scroll down to the bottom of the page and click import this will import the code and create the database structure for our attendance system that is it i've successfully set up the database to test it out just open your web browser and type in localhost followed by the name of the folder where your project files are saved thanks for tuning in if you found this helpful smash that like button and consider subscribing for a steady stream of coding lessons happy coding